Yes, I've seen I've seen some no theaters that c come to New York, and I've uh, I've read a lot. And in fact, I, I made a, a small play out of a piece of no theater myself, uh, and I've listened to the recordings, and I have books, and so, so it's 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 certainly the most successful example of poetic drama, which is very hard to do. Shakespeare is not poetic drama. Shakespeare is rough and tumble, <laughs> barrel house, you know, more like a Western than it is a, with beautiful, gorgeous language. But a poetic drama is something that, that, where the structure of the play is like a poem. Plays lie in the structure of their action. That's where they mostly exist. And the Japanese no plays are, the structure is usually two people, two priests wandering, they meet someone and a ghost appears. And something that happened out of the past comes back and its resonance is there and then there's some kind of a dance and then the thing ends and it's an ineffable thing. There's a, there's a, a, a Japanese word uh, for it that means bliss, you know, what you have at the end of the thing. And do all the actors have the mask? No, just the, uh, just the protagonist. And does the protagonist speak from behind the mask yeah. or someone speaks? Yeah. No, the protagonist them? speaks from behind the mask. In the Bunraku, the dolls don't speak, of course, and there are people over on the side who, well, there's a guy who recites the whole play. And the Bunraku is fantastic because, you know, the, the dolls, they're way out of wood. They can chop each other. You don't have to fake, you know. <laughs> they can I saw a short version of Hamlet. Uh, in the Bunraku, and that was great. They cut all the everything except the action, and it was bloody, you know, and of course everybody was hacking everybody apart. The ghost was one of them. It's great. It's a great art. So it freed me. There was something about that trip to Japan that made me think that I could maybe do something of this.